Okay, so when we are talking about slope, I want you guys to have Slope Dude's Journey in your notebook. And we call this one what? Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. Or just use the symbol, the plus sign. This over here is nice. The flat is zero fun or the zero. Yeah. And remember, we whisper it, it's a, a curse word in math. Not really, that's just a joke, but. So we're gonna talk a little bit about why this is undefined today. This triangle is an old symbol, I believe, from Greek for the word change. And we're going to use that symbol making our slope because slope is the change in y over the change in x. When I talk about change, I'm meaning that I'm going to be subtracting. Or I can find it on the graph by doing what we call rise over run. Notice I'm saying that these are all equal to each other. They're different ways of writing the same thing. So rise over run is the change in y over the change in x. What direction does the y-axis go? It goes up and down. That's where the rise comes from. We're either going up or down with the rise. And how does the run go or the x? It goes left or right. So when I look at this worksheet you guys are going to be working on today, I'm going to look for the change between the two points I can find on the graph. And I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw the rise over run. The first thing I do is the rise and I literally draw it going up and how many places we put our pencil on the dot and we start counting the space it goes above. Picture this like an elevator. Would you count the floor you're on or would you start counting how far you go up? How far you go up. So that's what we're counting. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to take our pencil and run across and we're going to count again, starting from here. We don't count that point. We count where we go to. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my rise over run is equal to four over six. And when you look at that, you guys are thinking, well, that looks like it could be reduced, aren't you? What could we reduce it to? Yeah, 2 over 3. And now watch. Let's go back to our graph here. If I go up 2 and over 1, 2, 3, there's another point on the line, isn't there? So I could have risen up just 2 over 3. And what kind of line is this? It's going from here up this way. Is that positive or negative? Positive. positive. So our slope is positive 2 over 3. Our slope is going to be a number that is showing our rise over run. Okay? So let's look at this one. What kind of line is that? Negative. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a negative slope. <laughs> We're looking again for rise over run. We're going to start at the bottom one and we're going to rise up. How far? One, two, three. It's four again. And this time we're running to the left. And how many places? One, two, three, four, five. So our rise is four and our run is five. And because it's a negative line, our slope is negative 4 over 5. Okay? 
So the first thing I want you guys to do today is just look at the lines and write, is it positive or negative? And then I want you to go back and practice doing rise over run. When you turn this paper to the back side, you, there aren't any dots on the line. You need to find them. So you're just going to look at the line and find a place where it crosses exactly. Like right here is one. This isn't because you see how it's not right there on that point. It's crossing. Let me see if I can zoom that in. And autofocus to get a little clearer. It's not very clear. The line has to cross exactly on a point like this. And if I'm looking at this line, this one's not on a point, it's just to the left of it. So you have to look for another place where it crosses exactly. And here's one right here. Okay? Yeah, there's going to be more than one on there usually, or more than two. And you can find all of them if you want. And the distance between them should be the same. The rise over run would be consistent. Okay? Let's go back and I can show you that. On this one that we found that we reduced it, we originally went to the two dots that were shown on here, and we went up four <coughs> and over six, right? And then we found we could reduce, and there was a two over three. Well, there's also a distance between this one is rise up two and run over three. It's a consistent slope. That's what makes this work, getting the straight lines, okay?